But you know what I'm having a lot of fun with? Um, what, trying what? to figure... Get, getting those messages on Twitter, the mm. DMs, with everybody's question about the White Rabbit. Oh. Everybody wants to know, including Matt uh, Ryan Martins in our chat, 499 Super Chat. What percentage would you give Bray Wyatt returning to WWE, and what percentage would you say would you give him showing up at Extreme Rules? It has to be him. Um, I, you, You've... You, you've worked people up so high, mm-hmm. so much, that this is Bray. Or maybe you haven't, but people have. How do you debut anybody else? Well, you can't. And at this point, I feel like we all know who it is. But I feel it's Gallagher. Like- Gallagher, yes. Gallagher, oh, Gallagher, and Gallagher too. It's a tag team. They're I, returning. I would, I would do what Brody was rumored to do at Mania One: hop the rail and just shoot pummel Gallagher. I would take his <laughs> mallet. I keep forgetting you have heat with Gallagher. I have a legitimate problem with Gallagher. I don't like him. He stinks. He puts people in awkward positions, and he likes to bother people when they're just trying to get coffee for their boss. I would like him to be defenestrated. <laughs> In what front year of did his this, family. What year did this hypothetic, hypothetical uh, incident happen? 2009. There you go. Never forget it, guys. Never, never forget nope. it. Nope. Nope. Matt will never forget it. Uh, but I know, I know who the White Rabbit is. See, oh, see, tell I've me. Got, I've got connections on Give the me. inside. Give me. Yeah. Okay. My cousin, Rodrigo, he works in the cafeteria over at Titan Tower. <laughs> He's the White Rabbit. Is that his nickname? No, no. That's just what he... No, he, that's what... Well, you know, in his past life, he sold a little white rabbit here and there. You know, you got to yeah, pay the got bills. And don't, don't make you a bad person. But no, he heard worry. it's down to three people. Okay, give it to me. Bray Wyatt. Okay. Malachi Black. Okay. And Baron Mikel Cicluna. Baron Mikel Cicluna. Yeah. Would you like and, to and, smarten and, everybody up on who that could be? Well, he was a a, ta- a northeastern wrestling talent who was in the World Wrestling Federation and Worldwide Wrestling Federation before Andrew and I were born. Obviously, we're both 24, so this is way, way back when our grandparents were watching wrestling in the 60s and 70s and 80s. But, you know, I could see it being either three of those guys. You know, you okay. got to freshen it up every yeah. once in a while. You got to and, – and Triple H has been doing a great job of honoring wrestling's past and the WWF's legacy. We saw Demolition finally get referenced. Yeah. For the first time in oh, 30 years. So, you know, it, it could be him. Farther. Yeah, yeah, it could be him. I Listen, I, 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 I have no inside knowledge if it is Bray or not, but it, would, it has to be, right? Well, didn't the yeah. lights go off when Alexa Bliss was having a match, right? Didn't they yeah. do that? Yeah, week? they're... Th- they're getting they're getting slick. Like this era of of booking in the WWE is relying on not only working the traditional fan, but it's getting the internet engaged. And I yeah. think it's a really smart thing. It's a way to reverse engineer reactions. Yeah. Well, I get what it is also, right? The what happens when in wrestling is really important. Right? What yeah. happens when Cody returns? What happens when Roman loses his title? What happens when, uh, uh, you know, Malachi Black possibly returns? What happens at the Rumble? These what happens kind of add more intrigue to this. Now, there's multiple questions here, right? Who is the bad? Who is the bad bunny? Who is the bad rabbit? You know what? Maybe it is bad bunny. Oi! It would. Isn't that a good uh, bad bunny? Yeah, I do a good bad bunny. Uh, it could be him. <laughs> I, I know that. Listen, I know that they they would love to have him back as soon as possible. I know he wants to do something too with them, but I, not not for an angle like this. There's no, you know, a lot of carrying cross discussion here. That is a carrying because he used that song on uh, in uh, in MLW. I don't believe so. Carrying no. is married to Drew right now. They're in a feud. I, you're not going to repackage a guy you, that's already been on TV. You're not going to after you this. brought him back and repackaged him to his initial packaging. Yes, you're not going to redo it into a spooky guy again. So it has to be Bray. Now, what do you do with Bray, right? What happens with Bray once you bring him in? Who does he feud with? How do you see this going if it is him? If it is Bray, I re- it's, if it's on Raw, I really don't know. And, and you can't give him the Roman. Maybe Braun Strowman? Uh, like, Braun would pr- be a good candidate for it. Maybe Bobby Lashley. 
could be a way to get Seth back as a baby face, even though he's doing some of his best work as a heel. I wouldn't want to flip him that flip him back for that. If Cody was around, he'd be the perfect person. I, I'm going to say, yeah, Cody would be great for this. So, I mean, WWE right now has a lot of moving parts here, right? You, yeah. you, you have that world title positioning where you don't know where it's going. You have that Jake Paul match where I'm very intrigued regarding how it's going to come out. Uh, Logan Paul, I should say, not Jake. Jake has other things going on. Yeah, uh, yeah that. Uh, th dude, did you watch that Bloodline uh, segment? Thought it was great. I, I had to. I scared my dog because oh. I yelled. I love pro wrestling so much. Your poor throughout dog. that segment. Your yeah, my dog. my my poor dog Olive. Uh, she she puts up with a lot. Uh, but to to be honest, I thought that was one of the best segments of television all year yeah, and it's very well it's, done it's one of the best smackdown segments in the fox era yeah no great 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 segment fantastic segment um by the way when you there was a qr code that went up backstage uh yeah. it was seen backstage where it was a game that was kind of like zelda like the the original legend of zelda where you had to like go through the you know through the whole uh through the gimmick uh yeah. and it it coordinate the coordinates take you to Edmonton for Raw tomorrow. Yeah, and then they leave stuff on people's cars too in the parking lot. Oh, did they? Lot. Is that what they did? Yeah, yeah. I, I saw Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful say uh, that he posted a couple of photos that people sent to him of flyers with those coordinates on people's cars. 